Good morning, this is your live stream journalist, Freeman Sullivan, reporting from the Martin Luther King Civic Center here at Milvia and Center in Berkeley, California. Anyway, this is uh, not a uh, raid this morning. Uh, we're just up to talk, give you a short report on what is going on in and around the camp. Uh, so far, we've been here for since 16 days now, I do believe. Uh, we've been in and around the Civic Center. Uh, we started out at Fairview and Adeline in South Berkeley when four members of our encampment were arrested. Uh, we decided to move up here to the Civic Center to be public because this is where the mayor and city council and most of the city offices are located. You really can't see it because it's dark outside, but uh, we're right next door and this is our camp. We've been reduced now to three tarps and I have my little pop-up red tent as you can see there. And uh, so far this morning everything is peaceful and quiet. Uh, I myself have been up since about four o'clock this morning and waiting for the police to come. Actually I get up every day practically uh, when waiting for the cops to come. And that's been my morning routine. Uh, wait for the cops to see if they show up. And uh, if they don't, go up and get a cup of coffee and use the bathroom. Because <laughs> when you're out here uh, doing these uh, embedded reports, there are no bathrooms. So, uh, you know, there's one around the corner, but uh, uh, I would not sit down in that bathroom. Anyway, getting back to uh, higher topics. Uh, so glad you're joining us this morning. We're reporting a peaceful camp. Uh, there's no raids today here in Berkeley, California. Uh, we're just here just giving a short report about what our plans are for the future. Um, we're talking about personally uh, if the police raids can... we've already spoken let's let's stop talking about me personally but we have spoken with the mayor, uh, Je the mayor-elect Jesse Arguin and he is pretty much in full support of what we are doing. The catch is is that he won't become mayor until December 2nd and today is November 21st so we have that many days that we have to hold out with this encampment before we are actually going to receive a piece of city land to set up a tent village on. So that's where we're at with that. So we do have support from the city government. The mayor-elect Jesse Erwin has been out here several times and has voiced his support for our rights as homeless people. So uh, we have that going for us. Um, hopefully, this there is a letter that has been signed. I can't remember the name of the city councilman, but there is a letter that is circulating that asks the police to cease and desist from these raids because the person who calls out the raids uh, is a woman, and I can't, you know, it's early in the morning, so you can't hold me to everything. I'm, you know, I'm a one-man reporting crew. But um, the city manager uh, is the person who actually calls the police out on these raids, not the mayor and not the city council. Um, she is responsible for these grounds of this building where we're located at, and so she has jurisdiction. So there's really not a whole lot any city councilman or the uh, mayor can do because the police are going to be called. Uh, the mayor can only come out after the police, after the fact, and then he will be able to make that order. But Jesse is not our mayor. We have Master Bates who's done a horrible job as mayor. Um, I'm sure you all know, have heard about his policies, which is basically to do nothing to help the homeless. Um, there's no very, very few services here that are set up to help homeless people. And the ones that are generally be, generally are the ones of poverty pimps. So uh, that's where that goes. Uh, we have other uh, political actions planned for this week. Um, a group of women and myself uh, plan to go on hunger strike starting tomorrow if the police raids do not cease and you could bet if the police come out here tomorrow morning I myself personally I don't know who else is going to do it but I don't care uh, we'll be going on hunger strike and I'll be on I will then set up a live stream to set up uh, where you can just watch watch me starve to death basically <laughs> not true but um you know so you can keep abreast more and more of what's going on uh, we do have a lot of support from the community. Uh, people are constantly coming by, dropping off 
food and socks and things like that. Uh, we have a definite need for more tarps. We have also a definite need for tents, sleeping bags. Uh, those are the main three things that we need right now uh, because the police, when they raid the camp, they confiscate all of our tents and our belongings. And uh, those are things that we can really use. Of course, we can always use water and food. And, but the main goals, the main things that we need right now are tarps, sleeping bags, and tents. So we're located here uh, at Milvia, or wait, 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 not Milvia and Center Street. Uh, the exact address is 2180 Milvia. So if you're doing MapQuest or, or uh, Google it, um, you can come down. Uh, we do accept donations in person. And the person that you would want to talk to is Mike Zint. Uh, he would be the first person. And then the second person who, if the mic is not around, would be a gentleman named Mike Lee. So you can contact those two persons regarding donations. Uh, we will have a PayPal account or a fundraiser account set up here in the near future so that people uh, that are viewing internationally and nationally can make donations to our camp. So there you have it in a nutshell. That's what's going on down here at uh, the Martin Luther King Jr. Civic Center here in Berkeley, California. This is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan, uh, reporting on Monday, November 21st at approximately 5.45 a.m. I'm um, signing off, and everybody have a